it's time for a bonus unboxing video as we're opening up yet another box of Clan Selection Plus Volume 1. So you might think to yourself, Timely, why are you in God's name opening up yet another box of Clan Selection Plus Volume 1 as you already opened up four boxes? And that's a valid question to ask. And I have a couple of answers to that particular question because for one, I haven't pulled the v Chronojet ASR, so there is a reason for me to keep trying to at least get the card, so this is yet another chance to potentially get the card. But also another valid answer is that I am also a Card with Vanguard card collector, so Yes, I opened up four boxes, but those cards will go towards decks that I'm going to use for particular video ideas. Now, what's great about this set is that in one box you get every single card. So basically one box is almost enough to complete the collection of this set, except for the SPs, of course, which will come later down the line. But the main reason why we're doing this video is because from this set onwards, we are actually being sponsored by the lovely folks over at Parkage. And for anybody that doesn't know, Parkage is a French TCG store located in Paris and they also have an online store. So it's the ideal place to get your card, especially if you're located in Europe. And they have some awesome deals going on. Like if you're looking for Clan Selection Plus Volume 1 or Volume 2 sets, then you can get singles of this particular set and they have pre-orders open for the next set for boxes. So if you need anything from Clan Selection, they have their stuff on the shop. But more importantly, Overdress is on the horizon and they got you covered. Because not only do they have the starter decks for the low, low price of 4 euros a pop, which is pretty awesome because that's the retail price that Bruchero put out. But they also have a special deal going on with the first booster set as you can get every single starter deck plus one box of the booster set for 69.90 euros and so that's actually a pretty nice deal as it at least gives you one starter deck for free and a couple of ch spare chains as well but on top of everything you can get this stuff even cheaper with a discount code timeleap5 for five percent off of your purchases on their store so that makes everything even cheaper so Thank you Parkage for supporting this channel, for supporting this unboxing and future unboxing when we go forward in Overdress era. And let's see if they sent me a golden box with the potential Chronojet ASR. So of course the chance of me hitting the Chronojet ASR is actually very very unlikely because I've seen numbers going around from uh, I believe at the beginning people thought maybe 1 in 4 cases, then I've heard people say 1 in 8, 1 in 12, 1 in 16. I've heard all these numbers being thrown around, so the chance of me actually pulling the Chrono Jet isn't really that likely. But hey, maybe I'm lucky gonna get at least an SP in this one. And otherwise, as I said, it's just gonna be for my collection. And also, I'm probably gonna blaze through these packs because I already did one opening on the channel beforehand, so there's probably not really a lot to talk about as we can expect the cards that are gonna be in this set as we get one copy of each card. Now, interesting enough, uh, there has been a discussion in the comments thread on the previous video about which card the ASR actually replaces. Because at the beginning, people were saying, well, it replaces Time Leaper Dragon, which makes sense, is it the triple R for Gear Chronicle? But then suddenly people were saying, no, 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 it doesn't change, it replace that. It replaces the draw PG for Gear Chronicle. So basically what we're doing is we're gonna have a, have a lookout for the draw PG as well as a trip or for uh, Time Leaper Dragon to see if we have a chance. Because if we draw, I assume, Time Leaper Dragon, then the chance of getting the ASR is very slim. But if we also draw the draw PG, then it's basically 100% confirmed that we're not going to get the uh, ASR for Chrono Jet Dragon. Also, we can assume that we're not going to get the SP version of any of these three cards, which I'm fine with. Like, the main SP that I'm looking for is going to be Chaos Breaker Dragon, as it's a pretty awesome card that looks pretty sweet, as well as the value of that card is pretty high. The main SP that I don't want, and rip Top Deck Heroes, rip Philip for getting it, is the Witch SP. Like, that's probably the worst SP that you can get in this set. So, we're already five packs in. Uh, sadly, not the Shiryuki one, because we already have the Triple R version of it. Sadly, we don't get that one. Okay, another Ribble. I, I swear, I, I still, I, I've seen the cards already in the previous opening and I've seen them plenty of time, but how they look, the triple R foiling on these cards are pretty damn amazing. And I hope they're gonna do this in the future as well. So there's the Malcolm Black. So far, no Time Leaper Dragon. 
So our chances are actually pretty, they're still there. The ch it's still alive. So I uh, so yeah, as I said, like I really, really like the triple foiling on bounty sets. I'm, I've seen the triple foiling for Japan and I've never really been a fan of their square box pattern. So I'm very happy that we keep getting the different type of SP, uh, triple foiling. Because in this type of case, it's more like a broken glass, glossy feel to them, which looks way better if I'm going to be very honest. But of course, there are people that prefer the Japanese foils. So we're getting to the last couple of packs. Okay, still no Time Reaper Dragon. I'm holding my breath on this one. So there is still hope. Okay, so we have to draw PG for Gear Chronicle. If it replaces it, then it's off the table. But I don't know. I just don't know what it actually replaces. So it's... We have still possibly, and we haven't pulled Chaos Breaker Dragon, so there's still chance. Oh, then never mind. There's Chaos Breaker Dragon. Why couldn't you be an SP? Um, so there's Mark. Four more packs to go. So we st we still we're still in the run. We're still in the run. Okay. So oh, we also haven't pulled uh, uh, what you call it. The great free of this thing, Spectral Duke Dragon. That's it. I always forget the name. Okay. Luck. Thank God. We didn't pull this at least as SP as if we if we're going to get an SP, so that we're not getting cocked over by that. <laughs> okay, so three more packs. We still got a couple of units to go, like Tiny Leaper Dragon. Okay, so no so that means no Tiny Leaper Dragon SP, but also no ASR. Sadly, sad gear noises as we're not lucky again in this time. Does that mean we're gonna open up this box again? Maybe, but probably not. That said, though, if you have a Chrono Jet ASR and you're doing it away for a reasonable price, contact me on Twitter. Contact me, private message me on Twitter, and maybe we can make a deal and can, can something work out. Because I need to have that card. There, there is no question about it. I need to have that 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 card. So we're entering the last two packs. So, basically, the only trip bar that I missed from the Great Freeze is Spectral Duke Dragon. So, yeah, Spectral Duke. So, the question is, do I... <laughs> am I actually going to get two Spectral Duke SPs? Because I already got it in the previous opening. Like, why? <laughs> okay, so, here we go. Close up to the camera, so you can see it. One we pull it. Okay, center, center, call. And, is it the Spectral Duke SP? It's... No, it's a normal one, which was kind of to be expected as a chance of actually pulling another SP on just one box. It's pretty low, but it's not something I haven't done this channel before. So that basically wraps up this bonus unboxing. Sadly, we didn't really get anything special out of this particular box, but the chance of actually getting something is really, really low. And all these cards will definitely go towards my personal collection. Maybe I will do it. Maybe ever in the future we'll do a video about that, as I have quite a gigantic collection, if I'm going to be very honest. But again, I want to thank the uh, people over at Parkage for sponsoring not only this video, but just sponsoring the channel in general. If you need anything for Vanguard uh, related stuff like your cards or a, a split case or maybe some boxes that you want to pre-order, whatever you need. May and even for other card games, you can go to Parkage. They have awesome deals, good prices. And if you're in Europe, there's also pretty fast shipping. So it's all, all pretty good. But don't don't forget, if you're ordering on their, on their store, definitely use the, the promo code uh, TIMELEAP5 for 5% off on your purchase, which all, all the little bits will help every single time. But again, thank you to Parkage for sponsoring this video, as well as you for watching this video. And as always, I've been Mr. TIMELEAP, and I see you guys in the next one.